He was one of the biggest legends in all of sports. Bob Knight did it his way for 29 years here at Assembly Hall, and he chose his friends very carefully. Bob Hamill was on the inside. Well, uh, we were good friends. In his Bloomington home, Bob Hamill reminisced about his dear friend. If the general was at an event, his buddy Bob was nearby. Here they are at the White House. Is this you right here? Yeah. And that good looking coat right here? Yeah. I yeah, like that. Hamill was the sports director at the Bloomington Herald newspaper, and he says the coach cared for his players well beyond basketball. He truly wanted them to leave with a degree. I mean, he, to, he wanted it to the point that uh, he insisted on it. <laughs> he, he kept a very close track of whether they were in class. And in fact, uh, he, he, in his recruiting, he'd actually recruit the mother. <laughs> the, the dad always thought in basketball terms. The mother thought in, in degree terms. <laughs> and uh, and he would always promise the mother, I'll, your son will go to class. Your son will graduate. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll make sure of that. <laughs> and, and he did. Knight trusted Hamill. They spent many days together. Knight asked him to write his autobiography. It was uh, number two on the uh, New York Times bestseller, bestseller list for a, a few weeks. And a, uh, Never got to number one. <laughs> that probably got no, under his skin, I, I, I bet. I think, I think I failed him there. <laughs> <laughs> Hamill says Knight was more than a coach. He was a parent, a strong disciplinarian, and a teacher about life. Those players, they're the ones I think about right now because, yeah. because they, uh, uh, they know what they lost. It, 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 you don't, uh, nobody has a second father, but, but he was close. <laughs> In Bloomington, Dave Calabro, 13 News.